My dad and I have been doing body work for months. And the other week, we decided that we were gonna get two panels ready for paint if it killed us. Hi guys, welcome back to Ellie's Garage where me and my dad are restoring a 1965 Ford Falcon to be my daily driver. But we've never done this before. Dad and I had our sights set on finishing the hood and deck lid and getting them all ready for paint. And while they were both already in epoxy primer, we needed to get them into urethane primer, which is the last stage of primer before paint. But before we could do that, we had to get both panels off and the underside sanded and primed. Sanding, I found a few places with rust on it, so we're gonna rust encapsulate before we prime just to make sure that no rust is on our head. Yes. We've noticed that um, even though rust encapsulator is great at what it does, it leaves this kind of like film on it on the top layer. So we are just going to scuff it off real quick just to make sure that it's all smooth and it doesn't ruin our finish. Right. So we just learned something very valuable that you do not paint a giant hood in the wind because you waste a whole can of paint. <laughs> have the uh, deck lid all set up. Um, we were looking and this has so much more rust than that. Oh yeah. So it has rust on the inside. You can kind of see if, Dad, if you look here, can you see that? Oh yeah. So that's the internal rust and then the obvious clear external rust. <laughs> Which is not right. hard to miss. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, I tried to get it all. Wow. both sides of the panel in epoxy, but we have to do that last step of getting them into urethane on the top. But before we did that, we had to sand them again. We've been using these 
foam blocks because they take the curves a lot better and are a little bit lighter so that we don't get as much cut through. Unfortunately, we have gotten a little bit of cut through, so we are going to double check to see whether you can just go right over it with the yeah. urethane, but that is not to worry about right now. We are on to the truck. our layers of urethane on the hood and the trunk and then we are done with them I'm so excited we talked to Eastwood and the little cut throughs that we have aren't going to be a big deal we don't have to do more epoxy we can just urethane right over them now all we have to do is clean them off and then urethane over them before rolling on the urethane primer we sprayed them with pre painting prep just to make sure they were as clean as possible then Tad and I mixed up the urethane and activator and started rolling on the first of four coats of primer urethane primer and Eastwood says that you have to sand it with three different grits of sandpaper. First you sand it with 220, then 320, then 400. And between each layer you have to use guide coat. Ask woman. Put it on. We're gonna try not. <laughs> you flap it in your face. Again. <laughs> we're gonna try not to go with the edges too hard, just so that we don't get any cut through. So we're just gonna sand and make sure that we don't have the edges. Basically, that's it. Let's do it. Let's do your stuff. The elbow me. Okay. So I cut through, um, that is very frustrating, but we were just chatting with our painter and he said that any little spots like this, yes, will need to be covered up, but that we don't have to worry about it until we get to his booth and we can fix that after we, once we get there, right before he paints. Nice. So we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> the trunk is sanded in 400. It is ready for paint. Our, we have some cut through, but our painter said that that was okay. And now we are moving on to the hood. And that's it. 
we have those two panels completely ready for paint. And even though we do have the rest of the car to do, it feels really good to have those two panels done. So what I'm taking out of the garage is that even when you have a lot left to do, it's good to have something finished. Thanks for watching guys. Take a look at this video where we completely sanded Carl. It was quite a lot of work. Thank you to my executive producer, Drew Carter. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time in the garage.